Hi, this is Marvin Bezura, and I'd like to welcome you to some online marketing and training that I know will help your business grow. Now, first of all, let me ask you some questions that are pertinent to this. Question one. Would you buy a product or service that has bad ratings and reviews online? I know I wouldn't. The minute I see a bad review, that company is scratched off the list. Question two. If you see two products that are identical, and one has ten good reviews, and one has three reviews with one bad one, which one would you buy? Well, I know I'd buy the one with the ten good reviews. Now, now that you've seen the power of reviews, I'd like to get into the true nitty-gritty of this training, which is reputation marketing, the most important way you can market your business, bar none. Now, some changes have happened. Let's talk about them. Reputation is now everything. The online reputation marketing game has changed within the last few months, and your competition doesn't have a clue about it yet. Now let's talk about the changes that have happened. Game Changer 1. If you type in any company plus the city, the company's reputation is revealed. So if you type in Douglas J. Alterman, you immediately see his Google listing and the reviews. Now let's go a little further. Let me go to the web. And I just want to show you, uh, as an example, I happened to look up uh, hair salons in Atlanta. So one of them was uh, the Two Groovy Hair Salon. So let's just type in Two Groovy There have been searches for this already, and Google is showing it because it's recognizing Two Groovy Hair Salon. So that's part of it. People are searching for Two Groovy Hair Salon. And when you go to Two Groovy Hair Salon, look what comes up. First thing is, their Google reviews here. Followed by Yelp reviews, another directory. Followed by Facebook. Now here are some videos that they did. They paid good money for that. And below that, you have more reviews on uh, Yahoo and on City Search. So the reviews are key. And as I said, they paid money for these videos. But if someone goes and puts the company name in and then does a search of the reviews and sees bad reviews, should have been more wary of the reviews. Yes, I think you should have read the reviews. <laughs> Enjoy the experience, but outlandishly priced. I've been going to this place for over two years, but another complaint. So when you see this, even though they had those videos that may have had great production value, I know I wouldn't use them. So let's go back to the presentation. That was game changer number one only. Other changes have happened too. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Game changer number two. So now when you do a search for a particular industry, so this one, for instance, is dentist in Atlanta, look what comes up. These are the pay-per-click ads. They're paying for these ads. Look what is next to the ads. Reviews. This, again, has only happened recently. So if they happen to have bad reviews and they're paying for these ads, it's like they're throwing money out the window. Your reviews, of course, show up here in the maps. They show up in the pay-per-click, as I said. They help your website ranking and move that to the top. They help organic ranking, and they help your local directory ranking. So that's game changer number two. Game changer number three. SEO, social media, pay-per-click, local marketing, none of it works anymore if you have bad reviews. So what does that mean? That means you have to create a five-star reputation first before you market your products and services. Because what is the use of marketing your products and services if you have bad reviews or no reviews? Because remember, if you have no reviews at all, people are going to go to the competitors that have reviews. 
So that's a reason why you need to get reviews. Game changer number four. Reviews send you pre-qualified, pre-sold customers because buyers trust reviews. Now, a recent survey, 72% of buyers trusted reviews as much as personal recommendations. That's like recommendations from friends and families. So that's how important reviews have become, and now they're all online, and everyone is naked, exposed to their reviews, whether they have good ones or bad ones. Now, Nielsen recently conducted some surveys to see what you trusted and what consumers trust in their buying decisions. Now, 92% trusted recommendations from people they know. Now, look at this figure. 70% trusted opinions from people posted online. That's more than editorials in newspapers, branded web pages, emails, ads on TV, online banners. So that means even if CNN came out and did a fantastic review about your business, consumers trust the opinions online more. So if the ratings online were bad, again, that's more important to them than the CNN report. So you could see how important reputation is. Now, why is the reputation online so vital? Well, consumers look up an average of 10 reviews before making a decision. And 70% of consumers trust the business with a minimum of 6 to 10 reviews. So without 10 five-star reviews, your business is not trusted. Because without that many reviews, they're going to go to your competitors who do have good reviews and buy from them. So what is reputation marketing? Well, it's positioning yourself as the market leader in front of thousands of buyers with a five-star reputation. Now, how do you create a reputation marketing strategy? Well, first of all, you need to claim your listings. It's free. You get good and bad reviews regardless of whether you claim your listings or not. So you're better off claiming them and answering to bad reviews and addressing them. Now, bad reviews are sometimes good because it'll let you know what your business is doing wrong and you could fix it. Now, you get notified of bad reviews on most of these sites, so you could respond to them. When people see you responding to bad reviews, they know that you care. So they realize that, yes, some people are dissatisfied all the time and they're going to give you bad reviews, but at least you care and you're trying to address the uh, concerns of your customers. Now, you could also track visits on Google and most of these other sites, too, and see how many visits you got uh, a month. So, how do you set up these directories? Well, first of all, I always do a search for existing listings. Because half the time, a business has the wrong phone number, uh, incorrect name, incorrect address. Because uh, the Internet, Google searched everything, and they could be pulling up addresses and phone numbers from 10 years ago from Yellow Page ads. So you have to find all those listings. You have to fix them. Now, in all these listings, you want to have the exact name, the same name, address, phone number, description, categories, down to the period and comma. Because if the listing is slightly different or if the phone number is off, it just messes up the listing. So everything has to be the same on all directories. Now, Google will let you upload pictures to the uh, Google Places page, now called the Google Plus local page, but they'll let you upload pictures. Uh, some will let you upload videos as well. Wherever possible, upload pictures and videos. Uh, if Most of them let you upload specials and coupons, which is great if you think about it because they let you do that for free. And a lot of businesses are out, out there are using Groupon and what have you, and they're paying uh, hefty amounts and discounts to use Groupon, but this is free. And now you should also upload blogs where possible if you have any. For instance, Merchant Circle uh, lets you upload blogs. 
and try to address any bad reviews, as I said, if they're out there already. However, if they're out there for months and months, you really can't address them, so uh, we could show you how to handle those too. Now, most important directories where you should be listed is Google Places, or what they refer to as Google Plus local pages now. Yahoo Local and Bing, those are the three big ones. And then Super Pages, Dexnos, Judy's Books, Yellow Bot, Yellow Pages, and you can see the rest. So these are the ones I like to go for. And depending on your particular industry, there are industry specific uh, directories, for instance, for doctors and lawyers. Well, how do you get reviews? That's the key question. Well, I like to ask for them in emails. So immediately after you deal with a customer, I like to send out an email. Even put the link to your Google Plus local page in there so they could just directly click on the link and leave a review. You could also ask for reviews on websites by uh, posting links there. And you could send out postcards with the link to leave the review. You could have uh, business cards with the link on it. Uh, the latest thing I've been doing is using QR codes on postcards and handouts uh, so that the people could sc scan in the QR code and be brought immediately to the uh, Google Local Plus page or a different review site page. Uh, also now video reviews are phenomenal. Uh, get a video review from your customer and post it online and a video review is like gold. I like to put that uh, on the websites also. And uh, also there are custom review pages which uh, we happen to offer also where you would have a custom mobile page where you could ask the customer for reviews instantly as soon as you finish uh, dealing with them and hopefully making them happy. So you just pull out your iPad or your mobile phone and uh, ask for the review. So I hope you enjoy the presentation and I hope you start developing your five-star reputation now because a five-star reputation with raving reviews will have your phone ringing off the hook. Thank you.